it's been so long since we posted anything Porsche. But this one's kind of interesting. It's a 996.2. This is the one that um, it actually dropped a seat. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find that cylinder head around here. We'll talk about what we decided to, how we decided to fix this one. All right. Well, the head's upside down. This is the exhaust side. That's the intake. You can see the intake seat dropped, right? So it actually lost the seat. Seat broke into pieces. So you can see how low it sits. There should be a seat right there. Should look kind of like that or like that. All right. And the pieces of the valve seat got stuck right here and then just beat the crap out of it right here, right? And what that did was the quench area, which is the area, this little flat area here, and this little flat area here, those are called quenches. So when the piston comes up, it's kind of hard to explain this. When the piston comes up like this, that little flat recess in there that is not really, you know, the, the void of the combustion chamber, the quench creates a little turbulence and um, it's the tightest area. So you can see that pieces of metal don't fit in the quench very much, very well, and they actually cracked the head um, and then it started getting water in it. So that's why we we're puking water out this side of the, you can see, you know, that it was wet out that side of the exhaust as opposed to dry, right? All right, so now, <clears throat> That cracked this liner down on the exhaust side and it busted it open. Well, typically the block is all aluminum and it's um, the liner is sprayed with an alloy, uh, which is called, I think it's Nicoloc in um, Porsche. There's also uh, Nicosil is the, the more common brand, but Nicoloc is a Porsche alloy. So... Uh, usually works really well unless the motor gets overfueled, then it doesn't like that, and it also doesn't like um, parts in it like that one. So, what we decided to do with this one, uh, we've went the Nicky's way before, and I like that. He's done a couple of us where he um, repairs them and sprays them and, and redoes them, and that's fantastic too. This one was local. Uh, we actually had a credit for some sleeves at LA Sleeve. So we decided to have LA Sleeve take a shot at this one, increase this engine to 3.8 liters. Oops, let me see here. From 3.6. And they basically bore this whole area out and they put that sleeve in there, which is a ductile iron sleeve. So, kind of cool. What I don't like about this one is, and we may take it back, we may call them and see. But you can see they slightly missed a little bit right there, right? It may or may not have anything to do with uh, how it assembles, but we'll see. They got it right on on the other side. So uh, we'll probably just take it back and have them align it. Press that one out. Press it back in. Um, other than that, the work is pretty nice. The... Uh, the pattern in the bores is nice. It's to spec, um, as far as to mall spec here. I don't really want to get, since my hands are a little bit dirty, I don't really want to get stuff too bad. But this basically, mall is a OEM supplier for Porsche anyway. So we're doing a little unboxing here. Comes with the pins, comes with a piston. We're not going to actually go too far out of the box because, well, hold on a second. Let me wipe off my hands. All right, so that's the piston, 3.8 liter. Uh, it's basically a Porsche spec piston, right? I don't know if we can zoom in there, but. Clean piece, coated. Uh, I don't know what the alloy is, but. It's a nice piece. Oil anti-flutter groove or uh, compression anti-flutter grooves in it. It's it's nice. So and uh, for the price, you can't beat it, you know. So we'll see how it runs. Uh, you're supposed to be able to drop into 3.8 liter. We actually have with Nicky's before. We've run a, a 3.8 with um, with his Nicosil or his Nicky's bores, and uh, it's a drop in and just has a little bit more torque, quite a bit more torque. 
in the mid range. But so it should be the same thing. Um, just another alternative. This I think was with the sleeves doing all six. Um, and bear in mind, we could have done one cylinder. They would have just done one cylinder back to original size. But when you do that, you have to be really careful how thick the Nicosil is that's remaining in the bore because uh, it's not very thick and it doesn't take much to wear out. So, And these guys have been doing, uh, they've done thousands of these, these sleeve replacements. So it's about, I think it's about 2,600 bucks, something like that. And then you've got, you know, uh, 1,100 for pistons and you end up with a 3.8 liter. We're not going to do anything crazy with this one. We'll clean it up. And then it's just going to be all back to stock. We'll put um, two brand new heads on it. And, uh, and that's it. Put it back together. So stay tuned. Subscribe. You know the typical things. I just haven't had a time to post stuff. Got a few interesting things going together. Bunch of LSs. This one's kind of cool. TBIs. Or ITBs. Sorry. So, maybe I'll do something on this. This is going in a guy's sand rail. It's got a daily dry sump on it, RCD, uh, straight cut gear timing chain set. So, it's 9,500 RPM um, LS. So, CNC machine or milled flanges. Um, that's just cool. Started out with an LSA block, brand new. So, mast heads. It, it's, that's a nice build. But, uh, we're talking about this. So, that's it. Like I said, stay tuned, subscribe. The usual stuff, guys.